this, this season, it's, it's bigger than an infant being born in Bethlehem. It's, it's, it's so much larger than this baby being born. It's so much bigger than that because what we, what we gather from Christmas and what we can glean from Christmas is that this is about a, a, a divine plan that God orchestrates through the life of a baby being born, but it's so much larger than that. Mary and Elizabeth begin to understand that. They begin to understand that, wait a minute, their ordinary lives of being two ordinary women is about to change forever. Yes. They are a moment away from their lives changing forever. As they're being chosen by God to do something for God that's bigger than their lives. You see, Christmas is, is an awesome time of the year. Not because of the gifts and the presents and all of the excitement about sales and, 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 and uh, retail and all of that other stuff. Christmas is, a, is a, a, a blessed time of the year because there's some spiritual lesson that we can gain from Christmas when we embrace the reality of Christmas. Or some have said in song, the reason for this season. Oh, yeah. And begin to understand that this thing that God is doing and desires to even do through us yeah, yeah. is bigger than us. So let's, let's, let's look at this, this conversation. We want to pick up where Mary now is at Elizabeth's house. And she's having a conversation with Elizabeth. And remember, last week, Mary has an experience with the angel Gabriel. How, and Gabriel tells her and wants her to know that, look, you are highly favored. Amen. That this ordinary girl from an ordinary city, her life is about to change forever. And Gabriel wants her to know that she's highly favored. And in, after that conversation, she heads, Luke tells us, to Elizabeth's house. She goes to Zechariah and Elizabeth's house and Luke records a conversation that takes place between the two of them as they, come, as they come to the realization that, wait a minute, this thing is bigger than us. Amen. That this baby is much larger than my life. So let's look at this conversation because it's there's some interesting dynamics that take place here when Mary finally realizes that this thing is bigger, is bigger than her. The first thing we see here and to, to, to help us understand how, how large Christmas really is and that Christmas is so much bigger, bigger than us is we see that Mary acknowledges or she she acknowledges, no, not acknowledges, but she has to embrace God's work. See, one of the things about Christmas that we can gather from Christmas is that God is working. Amen. Amen. See, let's look at this thing. Let, let's, let's, let's look at it right here in verses 39 through 41. It says, at that time, remember, Mary has just finished her conversation with the angel Gabriel. And it says, at that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. Amen. Now, Elizabeth is her cousin. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, check this out, the baby leaped in her womb, <laughs> and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Here, Mary has this conversation with the angel Gabriel. And he tells her how she's highly favored and how her life is going to be transformed and changed. And immediately she leaves there. And where does she go? She heads to Elizabeth and Zachariah's house. Yeah. Now, she goes to their house because the angel had told her that even Elizabeth is pregnant. Right. 
Oh my God. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah. It's amazing when God does something in you. <laughs> it's even more amazing when God does the very same in someone else. All right. All right. See, see, what God does for us is he shows and gives us confirmation of his working. He, he, he wants us to understand that no matter what you may see, say, or feel, that he is always working. Christmas reminds us of God's work. Because here we see Mary comes to Elizabeth and Zachariah's house, and when Elizabeth heard Mary, the baby that was in Elizabeth leaps at Mary's filled with the Holy Spirit. In other words, something supernatural happens as a result 